Okay, I've got a really short one, but a really good one for you today. All right, first, take a listen. Cool, so you can definitely hear how the articulations are changing up, right? And that's because I'm using key switches. You're probably familiar with key switches. If you're not familiar with key switches, it's something contact and other instruments use. And basically, you push in keys. That's all these MIDI notes down here. And it'll switch like articulations and other things, right? So uh, as you'll notice, I'm going from staccato to the sustain, uh, back to staccato to a marcato to pizzicato, uh, you know, feathered mute. These are all different string techniques, right? That's not the important part. The important part, though, is, oh, look how nice it is that I have all these labels showing up so that when I'm actually programming on all these MIDI notes up here, I actually know what the articulations that I'm programming in the key switches are. So if I took this fold off, this is what you're normally going to have to deal with. You're normally going to have to deal with just a piano roll, and you're going to be trying to program in your key switches down here. right? And it's going to be a huge pain in the ass. Because right, you're not going to know what these are. It's going to be different for every single instrument, and it's just it's no good. So how do we get these labels? Easy. We threw it into a drum rack, right? And all of these are what the labels are. They're actually just empty chains, right? So in these key switches, I've got all of these different empty chains, right? There's nothing in these chains, and they're a label, right? And then... The actual instance of contact is on receive all. So basically all these MIDI notes will come into this drum rack and they're all just going straight to contact. Everything else is just an illusion, right? They're not actually uh, doing anything or anything like that, right? They're literally just creating these labels for us, right? Now, there's a lot of reasons this is better. Not only is it better to program the MIDI, but once you have this rack, you just save it into your library, and when I drag this out, if I want a new comp copy of this, right, I pull it in, and I don't have to load contact, and then dig through my contact library to find the library that I want, like, you know, in this case, it's ADO, right, they're anthology strings, and then I have to, like, look at the specific patch that I want out of all these different patches and stuff, and it's just a mess. Here, I already have exactly the patch I want, and I've already got these key switches and everything programmed. So it's just one step, throw it in, it loads, and you're already ready to go already. So it's better in every single way, right? So let me show you how to build this. It takes very, very little time. I've got a template for you. It makes it lightning quick. Okay, so I've got this. I'm still working with 8DO's Anthology Strings. This is their solo patch. Right, and we've got all these different articulations. Um, these guys are actually empty, and you'll notice there's there really are only five articulations for the solo strings. Right, so we're just going to deal with these, and we're actually just going to delete these. Right, so the first step is to identify what notes are actually using your key switches. So you can either do that, you know, looking down here. Here it actually tells us. So this is C minus one to E minus one. So what we're going to do is we're going to find C minus one. Right to E minus one, and I just was holding shift and pressing down. You'll notice if I actually try and click and drag, it's going to shift my focus onto just the one I clicked on. So in order to actually drag these and drop them somewhere, you actually need to hold shift and select multiple by holding shift and clicking. Then we can drag this up into our key switches, right? And we'll just throw them right down here. Now. Underneath our key switches, these notes aren't even being used, right? So everything up to that C minus one, right? We can just delete that. Cool. Now, uh, we can also, if you pay attention, we can delete F through B here because we're not using any of these key switches from F minus one all the way up till B. So we're just going to delete those. The other thing that we're going to do is we're going to delete all the notes that are higher than anything that we're using, right? So if we go through these different things, we can see that, oh, okay, the highest note that gets used on any of these is this very, very, very high B flat up here, right? So we're going to find what B flat that is. We right, go up in octaves. Okay, so this is the... 
This is the highest note right up here, so we're going to delete everything above that. Now we're going to select all these notes that we just uh, didn't delete, and we're going to Control G or Command G on Mac to group these. All right, and we're going to rename this notes. I also I like coloring this black, but you do it if it works for you. So we've got our key switches in here. We've got all the remaining notes here. The last thing there is is just to label this. So sustains, right? Legato, all right, spiccato, marcato, and pizzicato, right? And we're done. The only other thing to do is this is 8DO anthology solo, all right, solo strings. All right, we drop this. I have a folder called contact instances, all right? This is faster than trying to access your contact instances through just loading contact, and it's better, all right? You saw how fast that was. I did the whole thing right in front of you. It takes almost no time. And now every time I want to get solo strings, right, these are like these good go-to solo strings that I use. I just grab this. I've got my solo strings. I don't have to look for the patch, right? It's going to pull up. It's going to automatically load the patch for me. It's going to have my key switches. And so when I'm in here trying to program stuff, I can just write in my melody lines or, you know, play them in or whatever. And then I can program in my key switches right there with the labels in front of me. It's so easy, right? It makes all the world a difference. And it doesn't just have to be key switches, right? It can be like punch in effects or whatever your instrument's got. It doesn't have to be contact. The only thing you got to do is make sure that the chain that your actual instrument is on is on receive all notes. As long as you've got that, you can create empty cells and make labels for them however you want. Uh, and then it's it's really that fast. So I'm going to throw this, this template that has all of these um, these labels for the note names in there, right? These are really important. Uh, if you didn't have these, right? Let's just delete this, these notes really quick, right? If you didn't have these and you folded, all you'd actually have are the ones that you either have notes on or that have labels, like that have cells that you built, right? So if instead of deleting those, then we can have all the notes that are in the playable range of this instrument, Right, so you're not having any out of range notes. You've got all your key switch labels and everything, and you're golden. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. Take care.